As we've mentioned before, there's different normal forms, and these normal forms help us to judge whether a database schema is designed well. If a database schema is in this normal form, then these anomalies that we've seen do not occur. One of the main normal forms is the Boyce-Cott normal form, short BCNF. A relation R is in Boyce-Cott normal form if all of its functional dependencies are implied by its keys. So what does this mean? For every functional dependency of R, one of the following conditions must hold. Either the left-hand side of the functional dependency contains a key of the relation R, or the functional dependency is trivial. And this means that the right-hand side is a subset of the left-hand side. In the first case, if the left-hand side contains a key, the key uniquely determines all of the attributes of the relation. So in particular, the key uniquely determines the attributes of the right-hand side, b1 up to bm. So this key implies the function dependency. In the second case, our function dependency is trivial. The right-hand side is a subset of the left-hand side, and trivial dependencies are always implied by any set of function dependencies. So clearly, in both cases, these functional dependencies are implied by the keys of the relation R. So this is the two conditions that we have to check. The left-hand side contains a key, or the functional dependency is trivial. Let's have a look at an example. Here we have again our courses table, with course number, title, instructor, and phone number of the instructor. And we have two functional dependency, the course number, uniquely determines the title, the instructor, and the phone. And we have function dependency that the instructor uniquely determines the phone number. Now, is this table in Boyce Code normal form? The first function dependency, the left-hand side, contains a key. The course number is a key of this relation. So if we would not know that the course number is a key, how would we determine this? We would take the left-hand side, and we would compute the cover. The cover of the left-hand side, if it contains all the attributes of the relation, then the left-hand side contains a key. If we compute the cover of course number, then we get course number, title, instructor, and phone, so we get all the attributes, so indeed the left-hand side contains a key. So the first function dependency is fine. It's implied by a key. The second function dependency. The left-hand side is instructor. Is this a key of this table? Let's check. If we take the set only containing instructor and we compute the cover, what do we get? We get instructor and phone and nothing else. So this is not a key of this table. So we are not in the first case. Let's check whether we are in the second case. Is it a trivial function dependency? The right-hand side is not a subset of the left-hand side, so it's also not a trivial function dependency. So this is neither implied by a key nor trivial, so it violates the Boyce-Cott normal form. So this table is not in Boyce-Cott normal form. However, if we drop the phone number from the table, then the resulting table is in Boyce-Cott normal form. Let's have a look at another example. Here we have a table for courses that meet once per week in a dedicated room. So we have a table called class. There is a course number. Every course meets once per week. The course has a title. And for the meeting, we have a weekday when the meeting happens, a time, and the room in which the meeting will happen. So what are the functional dependencies that we would expect to hold? If the courses only meet once per week, then the course number uniquely determines the weekday, the time, and the room. The course number, of course, also uniquely determines the title of the course. Moreover, if the courses meet once per week, then the weekday, the time, and the room is enough to know what course we are talking about. So we have two functional dependencies. The course number determines everything and weekday time and room number determine also everything, determine the course number and thereby also the title and so on. So these two functional dependencies imply all other functional dependencies that are valid for this table. 
Now, what are the minimal keys for this relation? First of all, the course number uniquely determines everything. So the course number on itself is a key. Moreover, the weekday time room determines the course number. So weekday time room together also is a minimal key for this relation. We cannot drop anything. We cannot drop the weekday. We cannot drop the time. We cannot drop the room without losing that the course number is uniquely determined. So we have two minimal keys. We have course number and we have the weekday time and room. Now it's obvious that if we look at these two functional dependencies, then both of them are implied by keys. The first one contains this key in the left hand side and the second functional dependency contains this key in the left hand side. So both functional dependencies are implied by keys. Thus the relation is in voice code number four. Let's have a look at one more example. Here we have a table with products. Each product has a product number and name and the price. And we have these functional dependencies. The product number uniquely determines the name. It also uniquely determines the price. Price and name uniquely determine the name. And product number and price uniquely determine the name. Now is this relation in voice code normal form? First of all, Observe that the product number is a key for this relation. The product number uniquely determines name and price, so it determines all other attributes of the relation. So the product number is a key. Now let's have a look at the functional dependencies. Then we see that we have one trivial functional dependency, namely price name uniquely determines name. The right hand side is a subset of the left hand side. So this one is trivial and we may ignore it. All other functional dependencies, this one, this one, and this one, are implied by a key. They all contain the product number in the left hand side. So every functional dependency is implied by a key or is trivial. So this relation is in voice code number four. If a relation R is in voice code normal form, then enforcing the key constraints automatically satisfies all functional dependencies. So we do not need additional constraints to ensure the integrity with respect to the functional dependencies. Also, if a relation is in voice code normal form, then the anomalies that we've discussed, the update, the insertion, and the deletion anomalies, do not occur. Let's have a look at two more examples. Here we have a relation results with attributes sit, the student ID, exercise, the exercise number, points, the number of points a student has obtained on the exercise, and max points the maximum number of points available for the exercise. For this relation, we have the following function dependencies. Sit and exercise together uniquely determine the points and exercise uniquely determines the max points. These two function dependencies together imply all other functional dependencies. Now, is this relation in voice code normal form? Let's have a look at the first function dependency. The left hand side sit and exercise, does it contain a key? In order to check this, we simply compute the cover of the left hand side. So we take sit and exercise and we compute the cover. We get the points and from the exercise we get max points. So indeed the cover contains all the attributes of the relation. So the left hand side contains a key. So the first function dependency is fine. Now let's have a look at the second function dependency. The left hand side is exercise. If we compute the cover of exercise, we only get exercise and max points, nothing else. So the left hand side is not a key. It does not contain a key. Also, this function dependency is not trivial. The right hand side is not a subset of the left hand side. So this function dependency violates the boys code normal form. It's not implied by a key. So this relation is not in voice code number four. 
The second example is a table with invoice information. We have an invoice number, a date of the invoice, the amount of the invoice, the customer number and the customer name. And we have the following function dependencies. The invoice number uniquely determines the date, the amount and the customer number. So let's have a look whether this function dependency is in voice code normal form. We have a look at the left hand side, the invoice number. Let's check whether the invoice number contains a key of this relation. So we compute the cover of invoice number. We get the date, the amount and the customer number. And because of the customer number, we also get the customer name in the cover. So indeed, the cover of the left hand side contains all the attributes of this relation. So the invoice number is a key of this relation. So the first function dependency is fine. Likewise, the second function dependency contains the invoice number on the left hand side. So it also contains a key of this relation. So this function dependency is fine as well. Let's have a look at the third function dependency. Here we have the left hand side, the customer number. Let's compute the cover of the customer number. We get the customer name and nothing else. These two function dependencies are not applicable and also this one is not applicable. So the cover of the customer number only gives us customer number and customer name. So this is not a key of this relation. Is this function dependency trivial? No, the right hand side is not a subset of the left hand side. So it's non-trivial and it's not implied by a key. So this functional dependency violates the voice code normal form. The last function dependency again is trivial. The right hand side is a subset of the left hand side. So we have one functional dependency violating voice code normal form. So this relation is not in voice code normal form.